Assalamu alaikum this is Maryam with articles for you Today's article from Dawn News written by Zahid Hussain titled Israel's new war The article discusses the recent escalation of conflict in the Gaza Strip where Palestinian residents are enduring harsh repression They have mounted a strong resistance against Israel leading to significant casualties on both sides. The situation in Gaza, marked by civilian deaths and a humanitarian crisis due to a blockade, is characterized as a war crime. The conflict has also exposed western hypocrisy in their support for Israel's actions while condemning Hamas. The root cause of this latest assault is the long-standing occupation of Palestinian land and the expansion of Israeli settlements. Gaza in particular has suffered immensely, becoming one of the world's most densely populated and impoverished areas. Children have been major victims of Israeli bombardments. Israel's recent aerial strikes have caused extensive destruction and a ground invasion in Lumi. The article notes that the Western world stands disregards the right of oppressed people to resist colonization and fight for their freedom. Israel's declaration of war on Gaza is predicted to have significant implications for the Middle East, including the derailment of US efforts to foster relations between Israel and Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia has reportedly suspended negotiations on normalization due to the outbreak of conflict. The article concludes that a lasting solution to the crisis lies in ending an Israeli occupation and recognizing the Palestinian right to a state. And I picked the editorial from the Dawn News. It is about the smog, the polluted air. Lahore, a city in Pakistan has consistently ranked as one of the world's most polluted cities, especially during winter, when smog becomes a major concern. Air quality in the city has further deteriorated due to the development work focused on affluent areas, leading to heavy dust pollution. A global survey found that Lahore had the worst air quality in the world in 2022, as measured by airborne particulate matter. Prolonged exposure to hazardous air in Lahore and other Punjab cities has resulted in various health issues, including asthma, lung damage, and heart problems. Government officials and politicians have been slow to address the issue, often blaming Indian farmers' stubble burning for the smoke. However, poor air quality and smog are caused by multiple factors, including vehicular emissions, industrial pollution, fossil fuel power plants, waste burning and emissions from brick kilns. The editorial criticizes the provincial development model, which prioritizes signal-free roads for car owners over measures that benefit all citizens and the enforcement of anti-pollution laws. The government tends to implement temporary solutions like school closure on highly polluted days rather than addressing the root causes. Lahore's air quality and smog problem are closely linked to issues like poor urban planning, inadequate waste management, urban sprawl, vehicular emissions, and a lack of public transportation. Without concerted efforts to combat air pollution, Lahore's residents will continue to suffer from toxic air. These were today's articles. Stay connected for more. Take care.